Let's take a look at best buys. Now the key to best buys is trying to work out the price per item or the price per liter or the price per milliliter. So here we need to work out the price per t-shirt. So individually, it's six pounds. A three pack, if it's three for 16, how does that work out per t-shirt? Well, that's gonna be 16 divided by three and 16 divided by three is five pounds 33. So better value buying the three pack than individually, which makes sense. Let's have a look at the 10 pack. It's 10 for 57, so that works out as 57 divided by 10 per item, which is five pounds 70. So we can see the 10 pack is actually worse value than the three pack. It's 570 per item instead of 533. That's unusual. Don't always assume that the more you buy, the better the offer. Supermarkets are always trying to trick people uh, into spending um, more money. A 20 pack is gonna be 115 pounds divided by 20 and 115 divided by 20, that is five pounds 75. So we can see that the best value for money at five pounds 33 per item is the three pack. Here we're comparing some washing up liquid um, in various sizes. Now this is quite a tricky one because, um, well, because of the 750 milliliters. It's easy to compare brand A and brand B because I know that 500 milliliters is half a liter. So I can compare brand A and brand B by either halving the three pound 25 or doubling the one pound 65 and then just making a cost comparison. But the 750 causes a bit of a problem. Now, first of all, one liter it might be easier if I see this as 1000 milliliters. Now, one thing I've noticed is that all of these numbers can be divided by 250. So what I'm gonna do is work out the price for 250 milliliters. So if 1000 milliliters cost three pounds 25, how much is 250? Well, four 250s go into 1000. So 1000 to 240, that is four times less. So three pounds 25 divided by four, that works out as 0 0.8125 for 250 milliliters. 250 is half of 500, so I need to half the price. 165 divided by two is 0 0.825. And 750 is three times greater than 250. So 250 milliliters should be a third of this price. So two pound 39 divided by three comes to 0 0.796 recurring. Let's maybe just call that 0 0.80. So if we're just comparing the prices, which one's cheapest, it's gonna be brand C. Alternatively, if you don't like um, working out the price per 250 milliliters, you could work out the price for one milliliter, but these numbers are gonna be really, really low. So if 1,000 milliliters is 325, then one milliliter is gonna be 325 divided by 1,000, and that comes to 0 0.00325. One milliliter is, if, if 500 is 165, then one milliliter is gonna be one pound 65 divided by 500, which is 0 0.0033 per milliliter and now we just need to do two pounds 39 divided by 750 and that works out as 0 0.00318 and again we can just make a comparison uh, they all start with 0 0.003 so we need to look at the number after that the that three so we've got a one a three and a two so one being the lowest value means that this is the best offer. Alternatively, if you if you find these numbers are like freakishly low, then you could just multiply them by 1000 to work out the price per liter, which means that the three pounds 25, we don't even need to work that one out, but we can just multiply this number by a thousand and then we'll get three pounds 30. And if we multiply this number by a thousand, then we get three pounds 18 again, doesn't matter how we do it, we'll still work out that brand C is the cheapest. Let's take a look at, at an example. So again, a deal on socks. So individually, one pound 80. 
in the three pack, how much does it work out per pair? That's going to be 425 divided by three. And £4.25 divided by three comes to a total of, let's call that £1.42. A five pack, so I'll just write here that that is per pair. Five for 860, so per pair is going to be 860 divided by five, which is £1.72, so that's more expensive. A 10 pack, 1650, so that's going to work out as £1.65 per pair. So Bob needs 10, 16 pairs of socks. You'd think the easiest way would be 10 pack, five pack, and an individual um, pair of socks. But actually the three pack is the best value. So to get 16 pairs, he can get five lots of three packs. That's 15 socks. And then he can just buy one individual pair of socks. So if a three pack costs 425, that's going to be four times, sorry, five times 425 and five times 425, that comes to a total of 21 pounds and 25p and then one extra pair of socks. So add one pound 80 to that comes to a grand total of 23 pounds and 5p. If you buy a 10 pack, uh, which costs 1650 and a five pack, and an individual pair or three five packs and an individual pair it will come to more than 23 pounds and 5p which is not the most cost effective way so here we just need to work out well what's the best the best offer and take advantage of that as many times as we can